this is an extremely hard cataract uh, of a patient who neglected his cataract for a very long time and then approached us. So, here I am putting my incisions and uh, making my uh, rexus after staining the capsid with tripan blue. The omniglow betrays the hardness of that nucleus, but that nucleus is essentially black. So, you have to be careful sometimes. Uh, in the quest to do a large rexus, sometimes in that over enthusiasm, you may even lose the rexus. Finally, I did not. I achieved an adequate rexus, but I would have liked it to be maybe a one millimeter larger than what I got. Anyway, I have to work with what I have got. Go ahead to my hydro dissection, and the only indication here you get is forward movement of the nucleus. Very important to get a, an adequate hydro dissection. In a heart care tract, all the steps are extremely important. You cannot bypass and go to the next step. Everything has to be perfect. So once I have got my hydro dissection, I put in some sodium hyaluronate also, just for extra protection to the endothelium because I am going to do use quite a bit of energy here. I am at 80 percent phaco power. I may not be using 80 percent, but that is a preset level and 400 mm of uh, mercury i mean of vacuum and 40 ml flow rate and i am going to do the wood cutters chopping technique and a very efficient technique for handling such cataracts and you can see that's the first chop first chop you can expect the spine to be left for significant amount of time try to break it Sometimes you just cannot break it. And you can see the disc like tissue in the center. Beneath the disc will be attached fibers of the backbone of this nucleus. This usually happens and before you start removing segments, I always make it a point to take out this disc, so I can observe what is happening behind. In a cataract like this, you have to get a minimum of 6 pieces, if not more. So each heminucleus, I target at least 3 segments. And you can see those attached fibers. You just need one or two fibers to be attached, and that can make your really spoil your deal. The important thing is to be patient and do all the segments. Do not try to remove anything uh, in the beginning itself. This is a direct vertical chop, it does not work. You need the nucleus to be contact, compact before you start removing segments. So, you need to do all your chopping maneuvers before you actually start removing these segments, usually, at least in the hard cataracts. So that is the disc I am talking about. So once that is separated, I like I usually target that. I remove that disc, and then you can observe. Luckily, these segments seem to be separated as well. So I've got out one. Now I have got more space. Watch how my phaco tip is being placed. I bring it out, bring it to the center 
and I am essentially turning my phaco tip posteriorly. That's it. There was a little bit of turbulence and pieces going around, can't help it, but by and large try to avoid that. So once the whole cat uh, nucleus is out, I go with my bimanual, remove all the cortical fibers. You have to be a little careful here as well. These uh, cat tracks have a tendency to have loose zonules as well. So don't, don't be too foolhardy when you are doing this step. Now that's done. Under HPMC I then put in my single piece hydrophobic IOL directly into the bag. Just helping it with the Sinsky hook as well. And all has gone well. You can see the wound is pretty clear. There is no wound burn. There is no corneal edema. Corneal looks quite clear. So all in all, I am hoping for a good post-op result. Thank you so much for watching.